Hey guys, in this video I wanted to test the different uh, types of redstone clocks and which of them causes the most lag. Okay, so what I want to test is the simple hopper clock, um, very simple. Um, then I want to test the comparator clock, which is just like so. And what I also want to test is um, just a fill clock or a set block clock. So just put in the set block commands and use that as a clock. Then what I'm interested about is which of these causes the most lag. So I've set up a few test worlds and I'll show you each one of them. Okay. So in this world we have a hundred hopper clocks and the server is running around two milliseconds. So it's just a tiny bit slower. Okay, so we've got a hundred comparator clocks here. Um, these are now deactivated and server the is as a tick of like one millisecond again. So yeah, this is barely this is not noticeable. Um but then when you replace the red the replace the stone with redstone blocks so let's just put stone here and as you can see they will all start running actually the server already has a average tick of 30 milliseconds so that's actually was really surprising for me it's just probably the updating redstone it's just it updates every redstone tick and yeah that's just too much for the server apparently or well a lot at, le at least what i was wondering actually is what would happen if you have light updates because i thought that the redstone wire would give a light update uh, but they don't and since 1.8 repeaters do not give a light update either the only thing that does give a light update is a redstone torch because as you can see it's light and we can use the redstone torch if we just put this like so the redstone torch will actually turn on and off now so we can use this and see if this will cause FPS lag for us so let's set it up oh, okay so now we're in the test world and this is to test for the light updates as you can see it's, it looks really bad um, that doesn't really matter though it's just to test f uh, how much lag it gives the servers seem to do a little bit better than previous but i think that was because it, it is because the repeater is on two ticks instead of having no repeater at all and um, we will test without the rest on torches too in, uh, in a minute so it's now already 60 milliseconds per tick so it's already running behind average tick goes up to 140 yeah this is this is just bad so let's test exactly this but without uh, torches it's actually it feels a lot smoother now Although that might not mean too much. Um, it's FPS is still at like 25, 30. Average tick did go down to 80. So it's it it definitely the light updates are really bad for the server. I um, don't think it's that bad for the client. But yeah, server-wise, definitely uh, it's now still like 70 milliseconds, 70, 80 and it, it was like 150 so yeah definitely a huge improvement so light updates are bad for the server let's go to the final test the um, fill clock uh, okay so i made a uh, hundred uh, fill clocks here with a quick way to turn them on and off um yeah so right now we're getting about 80 fps 70 maybe and yeah the tick is under one millisecond the average tick so let's just turn these all on let's see what happens um 
the average tick from the server actually goes up to well it's up to 100 now even but I'm expecting that will go down a bit I don't guess yeah so these are actually fill blocks <laughs> it, that took a while to uh, to return but yeah so actually it's still at 130 150 milliseconds per tick which is a lot I really didn't expect this to to cause that much lag because yeah they just they replace a few blocks so apparently that's already really laggy so I was surprised by the amount of lag caused by the fill blocks but I decided to try this so th these are three fill blocks um, all set to fill a uh, hundred blocks so as you see the fill blocks um, and actually this is causing basically no lag at all so th it, it goes up to around three three and a half uh, well maybe five milliseconds at times but not nearly as much as the other ones if I just turn them off for a second then yeah it goes back to say one millisecond or so because yeah there's nothing to do um, so I'm thinking that it's the lag is caused by the by the output because the game rule is off but it still outputs to the console so if I would just game rule command block output true then you can see it just it, it spams the it spams the output and this is still outputted to the console so it, this will still be locked and there's no way to turn this off so I'm pretty sure that's the reason but I have no other method to test that um, but I was also wondering if redstone um, is laggy yeah it goes up to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 yeah this, this is bad so do not hook redstone up to ultra fast clocks basically okay so we're back at the comparator test um, so yeah it's running at around 27, 28 milliseconds per tick um, so I made a quick command block just to get rid of um, all of these ones so we will have 10 left so let's just do it we'll also kill itself okay. so we have 10 left and let's wait for the tick to stabilize a bit and it's yeah it's around 3.5 milliseconds per tick maybe a bit more okay. so let's just um, let's just put redstone here to see if it actually is the redstone that causes the lag so let me just prepare this for you and then I'll be back oh, okay so this should be ready so the tick is still at around 2.5 milliseconds per tick um, so let's just connect these all and then see what it does so this will cause a lot more redstone updates so I'm assuming that this will be maybe not quite 30 milliseconds but at least higher like around 20 I would assume so let's see it's going up it's 15 16 milliseconds per tick yeah so definitely redstone causes a lot of lag iron and there we go yeah beautiful and the tick is at 60 milliseconds so yeah that's bad it, it, there's, it, there's, it, there's like yeah it's 60 milliseconds per tick now um so definitely try not to use redstone wire if you're trying to get as little lag as possible um although it, it's it's obviously because it's pulsing really fast if you have like redstone that activates once not a problem at all um and yeah so try also not to use too many fill clocks the fill clocks can have a lot of blocks but you shouldn't use too many i think that's about what we've uh, got here okay thanks for watching and i'll see you next time